submitted Liz Carmouche. Well, she had that beautiful sweep at the end of round three. She also outlanded Tate 11 to 3 in power strikes. A very close round. I can see where the judges would give it to Tate because she was on top for the majority of the round. But she wasn't that effective from top position. They've spent 10 minutes and 10 seconds of the first 15 minutes on the canvas. And yet, I don't know, that last round, Frank, how did you score it? No, that was a tough round to score. I think Misha Tate might have ran away with a bit of it, but... I I'm leaning towards Cooper. She had the power strikes. She had the reversal. Yes, Tate was on top, but again, it wasn't very effective grappling from top position. Well, settled it over Bocce Ball. Oh, you want to go there again? I have a 29-28 for the champion. I can see it being the other way, though, as well by the three judges chosen by the Illinois State Athletic Commission. Driving Kunin into the fence. Oh, nice stop. But right into the guillotine choke from Kunin. Tate's got blocked though. She's driving her right shoulder down, and taking the pressure off the choke. And she's crawling around the guard, getting the side mount of Marlos Kunin. How do you create space on the fence, Frank? You don't. That's why you got to use the fence. You turn your body around, you get your feet up on it, you push off with your hand. That fence is like, a, you know, traps you in like a box and you can't get out. Brian Carway takes boyfriend shouting out instructions at cage side and take getting to side control now. Bottles got to run up that cage. You can run right up that cage. Come out the back door here. And that's exactly what she's doing. You've done this before, I can tell you. You can hear Carway telling Tate that Kunin is getting ready to explode, anticipating the launch off the fence, and Tate defended it well. They're still in cross-side position. Some elbows from the bottom by Kunin. See, this time, this round with the takedown, I think Tate's done a better job. Neo Belly for Tate, trying to, oh, and she goes in the side. Arm triangle choke. She's got it in there. Kunin trying to block it by grabbing her just like Tate Coonan has never been submitted. Has she submitted? Submits her! Wow, what a performance by Anisha Tate! And she takes the Strike Force Women's Bantamweight Championship. Misha Tate down Tate. Him. Taking a page out of the Golden Girl of Golden Glory's playbook. Tate is the new Strike Force Women's Bantamweight Champion. Wow! That dominant position, put her in submission ability. And she jumped right over the hips, slid that choke in. Misha Tate with the arm triangle choke of victory, her fifth win via submission, but her first via arm triangle choke, and it leads to her first Strike Force Championship, setting up a rematch with Sarah Kaufman, who's already defeated her. Wow! Here's the finish. Side mount, good control. Look at Misha's head. It's behind the elbow, behind the arm of Conan. She slides over into the mount. Then once she's there, she keeps going all the way to the other side. Now the arm's trapped. She's got a figure four. She's got locked, and she's driving that choke. You see Conan trying to block it a little bit by getting that knee up, but she, Conan is choking herself with her own arm because of this position. Here's another look, just textbook side choke position, driving that arm across her neck. Tate's arm is choking the other side. A beautiful submission hold. An emotional Misha Tate celebrating her first championship. She began her career in November 2007, and here on the final day of July 2011, Misha Tate is a Strike Force Women's Bantamweight Champion.
ladies and gentlemen, with the time of three minutes, three seconds in round number four. An arm triangle choke ends this contest as the fighter taps out. She is the winner by way of submission. She is the new Strike Force Women's World Bantamweight Champion, Misha Takedown Tate. A new champion crowned here, right outside of Chicago. Misha Tate, congratulations on your world championship. Scott Coker, putting the belt around your waist. Can you give us an idea of what is going through your mind right now when you look back at your days wrestling on the boys wrestling team in high school? It made me tough, and a uh, big, huge reason why I'm here today was that toughness that got me through that fight. Marlos is no joke. Had a a good start to my training camp, a rough finish, but that's what makes the heart of a champion right there. It's tough times. Tough times only make you tougher. How ironic you submit a submission specialist in Marlos Kunin to take the belt. I couldn't have asked for anything better. You know, most of her wins are by submission. She's never been submitted, and that's what I came here to do tonight. Can you, in your mind, go back and tell us what you saw, what allowed you to win this way? Uh, having a big heart, you know. It was a couple times that I was down in here, and she's really tough, but I told you that, told everyone I wasn't going to come in from here with too much of a